on the banks of the Mississippi River, home to the king of rock and roll and also the Memphis Tigers, where the fans have moved the party from Beale Street and are ready for kickoff. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Cincinnati Bearcats, taking on a team from the AAC, the Memphis Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Tigers, long, long wait is coming to an end as they'll put a foot to it, and the season will get underway. He'll bring it out. It's Turner. And the returner will be brought down. So Cincinnati's return team will have that offense backed up. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Father. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Right back to him on the ground. Find some space enough to get five to the 22. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. They've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up to this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. The Bearcats will hustle to the line. Looking for room, it's Kiner. And he didn't squeeze it, it's loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carrier. It was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. Been set on first down. They'll run it from the gun. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. I love when players understand the situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And on second down for this offense. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. 
Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. Yeah, the day it's just on fundamental that. football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Soresby. Takes a hit as he... And it's picked off. A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Using the quick game. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Memphis now operating in the red zone. Out of the gun, the inside kick. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for a gap. It's Thomas. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete! And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field and score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. And the pass hits. Picked off. Got some room to run. At the 30. He goes out of bounds, but he just about did it himself. What a return after the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. And that is the first passing touchdown, first of many of the season for this offense. Nice drive by the offense. Way to finish it. Take care of the football. Make some plays in the passing game. This offense looks like they're going to be a really hard one to stop. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Got it. 
He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Looking for space. It's Kiner. Got the first down and more. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The hand to the running back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponents. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. And you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Beautiful play call offensively at the perfect time. In that situation, the defense obviously expecting pass, so they sneak the draw in and gash the defense. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Touchdown, Cincinnati! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. An impressive run from the back. Gets him six points, good drink of water, and maybe a little oxygen. He definitely needs some oxygen after that long run, but it looks simple, right? Just hand the ball on. But when you can make big plays like this in the run game, man, does it make offense fun. That one bounds through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Primal, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to pass. It's Hennigan. Got his man on the right. Bring in the heat. He will step out of bounds, but not before the third pickup and a first down for this offense. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. That's the end of the quarter, and Memphis has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Gets rid of it. That's caught. It's Taylor. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Nice job by the receiver there. Running the drag route against zone coverage. Finding the soft spot. Making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him on the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. On second down, they'll take to the air. Quick strike complete. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the right side. They get him after he picked up five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. And after having a nice game like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and taking a shot. Because even if it's incomplete on second down, on third, you won't have that long to go. 
He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. QB's got to be able to play on so many different levels. They got to read coverages, know the snap count, know what everybody's doing, and then does a great job at the end making something out of nothing, making a positive play, picking up a new set of downs, a new set of problems for this defense. With the run on first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain. Make and makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, drain the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn, and that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they're executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. He's piled up 65 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. The Bearcats moving quickly to the line. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. And look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening. Run or pass that wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. And he's to the 48-yard line. That would be good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Moving out to the right. Five. And the quarterback will be forced out of bounds short of the line of scrimmage. I think they'll give him a sack. They'll line up for a second down play. This D coordinator, man, he will take sacks any way he can get them. They weren't able to get it right off the bat. He smashes his way through again. They'll wrestle it down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? They've got it inside the 40 and the 39 as they pick up the first down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because of major stick. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Memphis. And once he got loose, it was all over. And this offense is firing at all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game had in separation at the end of this first half, but you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin, boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. James Madison is ahead in this one. This team plays a fun brand of football there in Harrisonburg, but they're a long way from closing this out. They're up by nine over Charlotte. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final.
Makes the grab. It's Johnson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Trying to convert this second and short. The play action fake. Quickly complete. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. And the Bearcats racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw at Soresby. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Back to the air one more time. The throw to the outside is complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. The Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Pressure coming. Got it in the middle. It's Smith. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Love the location of the throw on that slant pass. Put it out in front of the receiver. Put it on his face mask so he can catch it and try to advance. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Love the physicality of the secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four at second and 14. On the run, it's Soresby. Fires to the middle. And that is interception number three on the day. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me. And you can tell the quarterback was not ready. He did not make a good throw. He'll throw it on first down. He'll try to do it himself. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that first. No running back on the field. Five wide on second and one. He's looking to throw. Gonna take a shot at this deep. Oh, picked off. Taking it the other way. And they come up with a big play to make sure no more points go on the board before the end of the half. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. <laughs> you know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of the wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. They're Fires deep toward the end zone. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sent it the other way. And another.
another mistake from this quarterback. That's back-to-back -back drives now that have resulted in interceptions. He's got to find a way to find something different, get in a better rhythm, start seeing the field better, Palmer, because he's not in a flow right now. No, David, it looks like he's forcing the football a little bit, maybe trying to make up for that interception he threw on the last drive. But that last play, there was no way that football should have gone there. He could have gotten off of that and checked it down or thrown it away. This quarterback, he needs a breather right now. He's got to collect himself. Bearcats will kick it away to crank up the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. It's working by changing, and that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. You just know the offensive line is telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. You, know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He goes down at the 47 after a five-yard pickup. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. The receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Off the play fake on first down. Trying to get to him. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack. It's second and 12. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got his man quick. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Find my guys quickly. Know my matchups. Get them the football. Let them do the rest. So many playmakers now in football. I'm trying to get it to them as fast as possible so he can do that. Right after the catch, make guys miss, make beautiful plays. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. That's his second sack of the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm going to roll out away from him. I'm going to double team him. Let somebody else beat me. Not him. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. You know, it's going to be so important for this offense to get better up front protecting and try to give this quarterback a pocket to throw from because David right now in that last play, he had no chance. Yeah, and step one in, in stopping a good passing attack is always being able to affect the quarterback. And, and it's not always with sacks, and sometimes it's with pressures, but when you get the sacks, and now you get them behind the sticks and put them in more predictable situations, that is exactly what you want from your defense. Fair catch, called for and made. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, 
big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. On the move, it's Soresby. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four-yard line. I tell you what, man, you, you better be looking at your puppy dog feet and seeing where they are, Palmer. You don't want to get back in that end zone and bad things happen when you get sacked. I don't know if you want to even risk this quarterback having to hold on to the, foot, to the football very much longer after watching that last play. This defense right now is pinning their ears back on this area of the field, and they are getting after him quick. Using his legs, it's Kiner. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. Oh, he left him grabbing. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. He now has 91 yards rushing, and he's making sure the defense feels him in this opening game. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. He's going to pass. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. And here comes the offense on second down. Give to the running back. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wants to throw on third. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead down a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Coastal Carolina came in and applied their own mute button on this crowd. They silenced one of the most vocal home field advantages in football. And it's clear this Sean's team has adopted the mantra, let your play do the talking. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome. And certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Gets it out quickly. At the 35, he's loose. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that. And that pressure just engulfed him, a sack for this defense. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Back to throw, it's Soresby. Fires to the right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, that one gets tipped and falls incomplete. That's been the best news on the day for this QB, man. As a former quarterback that's done this before, I can tell you, when you throw four picks in a game like this guy has, you never forget. Oh, look out! And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all away. Touchdown, Bearcats! Number nine. And it took a minute, but the passing attack now on board. The first passing touchdown of the season. And it took to the second half, but I tell you what, this offense will find its rhythm. They'll grow. They'll get better throughout the season. And this is going to be a hard passing attack to stop. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who've starred through the first three periods. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. On second down, looking again to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Thomas. They'll move the chain after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first game. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. The give to the back. Got the first down and more. Afterburner's coming. Pass the 10. Touchdown, Memphis. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Now they have extended this lead, guys. Starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Looking for a productive play on first down. Back to pass. It's Soresby. Gets it out fast. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger gain. Now on second down. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. How aggressive will they get on first and ten? That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boost. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Got it in the middle. It's Royer. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can, they can stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. After that last completion, it's second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Kiner. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Unloads it left. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. 
down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go. And here's the fifth interception by this quarterback. Got room on the return. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Tigers. What a great play by the defense. And paid off with the interception return. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception. Takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. And he puts through the extra point. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. They're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You got to attack the sideline. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Flying down the right side. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Cincinnati! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling, and you're down by 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Got it. First down here for the offense. Now. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He's got it again. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to the running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. Moves. To the ground with the back. <clears throat> And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be... Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis. And the stomping has commenced. Well, I think this home environment was just too much for their opponents to handle. There's been unbelievable noise and energy. The crowd showed up today, but how about the playmaking on the field? These guys have got dudes all over the field, and this kind of win week one sends a statement and reverberates all across college football. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. 
I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense. Defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be. And that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to improve your coaching staff that you're not going to play. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to throw at Soresby. Quickly complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. And the Bearcats have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. That pass is incomplete. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're gonna show in the film room that people aren't gonna like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. He wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Smith. He's brought down. Solid pick up a little bit short of the first down. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Bearcats are threatening in the red zone. Defense playing a bail technique. From the red zone, looking for a space. Catch in the middle, it's Smith. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. He's looking to throw. And he takes it in in the end zone for a touchdown. A little window dressing here at the end of the game. And with that last touchdown now, they're trying to create some momentum. They're trying to avoid starting the season 0-1. They know they've got a lot of work to do here in the second half, but you should be feeling pretty good about that last score. Now you've got to keep that up. And they did tack on that extra point without any adventure. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 28. He'll start the return inside his five. He stopped the return right there, and that will do it. This one is in the books. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You gotta love that as the players. You come out, you have 